Now I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a spider enclosure. For so long spiders and invertebrates have been affected by mould and mildew. The fantastic thing about Critters Crumble, it is mould and mildew resistant. From my experiences, using river sand and Critters Crumble as a combination makes for a great substrate for things like invertebrates and spiders because it encourages natural tunnelling and burrowing abilities and it also retains some moisture. I suggest you use one part critters crumble and four parts sand. Mix through thoroughly. Now that the mix is mixed through, what you do is you cover the contents of the floor and also leave a raised section in the centre or at one end so the spider can actually burrow into it. Now all we need to do is add the spider and this is Molly and she's a bird eating or whistling spider. She's an Australian species and just remember they are very fast and they're also venomous so make sure you use a tool to actually place her in the enclosure. Because of the whistling spider's web making abilities in their enclosure, you don't need to spot clean. So what I'd suggest you do every three months, remove all the contents of the substrate from the exhibit. You can either put it on your lawn, put it in the compost or on the veggie garden and replace with the same one part critters crumble to four parts sand again.